moves to a March 8th preliminary hearing to see if prosecutors have enough evidence for Cosby to stand trial. A new Supreme Court ruling gives convicts serving life sentences for crimes they committed as juveniles another shot at freedom. News H. Jack Corpella reports on how that impacts cases in the Susquehanna Valley. This is like sending somebody to their room for life. Some Pennsylvanians are sentenced to life in prison before they can legally buy a pack of cigarettes. The Supreme Court has decided to give them a chance at a new sentence. It recognizes the fact that juvenile offenders can be rehabilitated. This isn't just lock the door and throw away the key. It's a ruling that could impact more than 500 juvenile offenders statewide and more than a dozen in Lancaster County, including Anthony Lewis, who at age 17 was involved in a murder in Lancaster nearly 20 years ago. His attorney says Anthony Lewis never pulled the trigger. He was the lookout for the homicide that occurred here on Duke and Liberty at this convenience store in 1996. Lewis was mildly mentally retarded. He had a third grade reading level. And in fact, in his statement to the police, he told the police he was doing this out of fear he might be shot. Bright says the new ruling is not a get out of jail free card. Convicts must prove they are worthy of a reduced sentence. So you're not opening up the floodgates and allowing all these convicted murderers out of jail. That's not the intent here. The intent is to treat juveniles the way they were initially meant to be treated. In Lancaster, Jack Rapella, News 8. Now, supporters of the old law argued juveniles who commit murder should be treated the same as adults.